Hello everybody and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, I am very excited to get back into this game. I'm very excited to see what the new DLC has to offer. Uh, I've heard that it's actually uh, pretty fun and the space is completely different. Uh, so I I'm interested to see what that turns out to look like. Uh, I haven't played this game in quite a while, so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I Let's see, I almost always try and get a researcher... It is just focused on science. Actually, so the bottom of the stomach here is probably actually going to be okay. Because he has quick learner too. So that's plus 10 science. Now, I only do this because I, I, I like, you know, just tearing through the research. But we're going to want a digger for sure. Ruby and Ren here are both about perfect. So we're going to get one more. Because he is excavation and construction. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to try and get a, a tidier here. So he's got tidying and supplying divers lungs, which is an awesome, awesome trait to get started uh, with your starting three duplicates. Narcoleptic could cause some issues, but I think we're going to roll with him anyway. So we got Ruby Ren and Stinky. Ah, uh, the duplicate abode. We're going to skip that. So this game is definitely not going to be for those who are looking for uh, a beginner's guide or anything like that, because I play this game fast. Actually, I play most games like this pretty fast. Uh, we're gonna need to get down to the water there. We're also going to need an outhouse. So I will start working on that next. See, I also, I had a bunch of mods installed uh, that I played for, with just for my personal game. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm interested to see how many of those are still here. Pneumatic door requires resources, metal ore. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to dig into this. We're gonna set this to priority six so we can actually get some doors in here. All right, so this area up here is going to be the barracks. This is where I almost always put the barracks. I have no clue what this area is going to be used for yet, but we're going to find... We'll figure that out later. So cancel that one. Cancel all this. Because what we actually need to do is we need to put an outhouse here so that we have enough space to put two wash basins. Priority set all of this to six. Because if we don't get this done before it's bedtime, then... Uh-oh stinky i think also so down here i think we're gonna i'm gonna put the uh farms which i know they need to be a, a certain temperature oh sorry i'm basing this off of uh i normally play on whatever the super cold uh world is so this is a little bit different yeah we need to hurry this up guys come on i know we'll have it i'm gonna have an outhouse here soon enough Oh, you're eating in there with the toilets. That's great. That's a wonderful... Did you just pull that out of the toilet? <sighs> Hold on. Oh, God. Please tell me it's not that bad. Okay. They're okay. You're sleeping in the bathroom. <sighs> okay. I guess whatever floats your boats, dude. All right. We're going to do a little bit of planning while they sleep. We'll do a manual generator there. I generally like to do two batteries. And a research station. Uh, we're going to go back over to power and do the wiring. So I, even though it would be more efficient, especially right at the start, to do uh, the wires just straight through, uh, this is a little bit of future-proofing. Because usually the way I run it is all the cables go in through the floors. I think that's the way most people run it, actually. If you don't, it just ends up looking like a mess. Uh, how is oxygen... Oxygen overlay... Oxygen overlay is actually looking pretty good for right now, but that's because we still got all this oxalite over here. I also have to keep in mind that as this whole area gets bigger, uh, it's going to... <laughs> we're going to have to make more oxygen to keep it all breathable. Yeah, see how we're ter We're just tearing through the oxalite. Once these two are gone, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need one of these. I'm actually going to go ahead and set this up. But I have to. you have to be careful with the uh, oxygenator oxygen diffusers. Especially early on, because you don't have enough. You're not going to have all this algae around forever. One of the issues I might run into is I'm used to playing on Rhyme. And what happens in Rhyme is it's so cold that all of the, uh... The slime and lung germs just kill themselves off. So you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, once this area finishes up, uh, then we're going to have... Or our duplicates will be able to actually sleep tonight. Oh, there goes the narcolepsy. So, narcolepsy can actually be really dangerous if he falls asleep. Uh, in a place that has carbon or high amounts of carbon dioxide. Because that means he can suffocate while he's sleeping. I don't remember what I would actually hold on. Farming. Yeah, we're going to need that. Uh, 
So one of the mods I'm like 90% sure I have installed, which we're about to find out. Ah, I do. Is the research kill. I honestly could not live without it. It is such a helpful mod. Oh, really? There's a glow bug stuck in the concrete and it's keeping Stinky awake. That's so unfortunate. All right, so I've got a little farming area set up down here. And we've got a new duplicate available. Choose a blueprint. I honestly, I really think that this is probably going to be our best bet. Uh, the irritable bowel, the bowel, bowel can be hard. Oh, Hassan has a new skill. Okay, uh, we're going to do farming. Oh, Hassan's the new guy. Priorities, Hassan, you are our dedicated farmer because I'm not going to be able to access more water for a little bit. Going to need to make a place for polluted water to go that is completely separate from any place we will ever be getting our regular water from. I just, I really like having the, uh, the morale super high in my duplicates. I don't remember what that does even, actually. I'll figure it out later. I'll remember at some point why I like having their, uh, morale super high. I mean, it's obviously it's not a bad thing. These guys are emitting polluted water, which means I am going to have to do something with that because I don't want to have to deal with the polluted oxygen. Uh, so what I am going to do in that case, and then we're going to dig this whole section out, and this is going to be <laughs> the pee hole. As cursed as that may sound. Alright, I've decided to go ahead and say screw it. And we're just gonna research everything until we can't. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with the advanced science later. But for right now, we're just gonna, we're gonna get all of this stuff knocked out. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be really ridiculous. But this is just how I like to run my wires. I just don't like to have them out all over the place. So this is exactly what I was talking about before. So these guys produce the polluted water. And we don't want this to just sit here. Because if it just sits here, then it's gonna keep on uh, doing this sublimation which hopefully it doesn't do this from down here. I don't know when we are able to unlock the technology to clean up the air. Hopefully it's soon. All right, choose a blueprint. Plus three athletics, minus three, th or minus five athletics. Okay, so net minus two athletics. That's a really good duplicate. I don't really like any of these. We're going to pick up the hatchling eggs. So the reason I put a light up here is because this guy or the researcher gets a uh, efficiency bonus from being in light. Most people usually achieve this by putting the uh, research station next to the printing pod. I didn't do that because my brain is smooth. All right, and with the, the beginning of cycle seven, I'm going to call this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!